to take the unwritten rules. Air support. Nowhere near what Mitchell had hoped for. That one ends just over three. Oh, dang it. Bull leaves there, catches the horn just a minute, but Zeke's got an opportunity to go at him and get a good shot at him. His feet kind of bounce a little bit. It almost It's almost like when these great bulls, when you, when you get them in here and they get that big name about themselves, the guys have a little bit of intimidation factor just by the bull's name of of the, the past that he's had. You gotta take it at him that you're the champ and he's after your after your goal. How about Dalton Castle popping in there? He's out with injury, but that doesn't mean he can't be a fan and try to cheer Zeke on. Meanwhile. Yeah. Nighthawk sets his claws and triplet down again. Last week, the concussion in Kansas City, he cleared all the protocols, but things just have not been going his way lately. And he kicks loose around there. He's getting getting around there well, but he just slides in there one jump, misses a hope, let outside foot, and falls to the inside. Bull brings him down. You mentioned away from his hand. That bull went into his I hand. Mean, but into his hand. but yeah. what makes a rider good away from their hand sometimes? What is it about their style? You know, it, it's everybody's, what's your favorite color? I mean, it, it, who knows? That, McBride was equally as good. The, the championship guys are the guys that are equally good either direction. Aaron Seamus is always better away from his hand. I was better into my hand. Can he keep climbing the ladder? Dalen, hang oh. on. Oh! Oh, and the U.S. Border Patrol, the Wrangler, Cowboy, Dalen Swearingen, and boy, disappointing right here, but we mentioned what he did at the top of the show, the credentials for the young man, the college bull riding champion. Qualified for the Canadian Finals, the World Finals, and the National Finals Rodeo. Jesse was going to come out on top, but mind freak, whether you want to call it a move or the fact that Jesse just got that much more out of position, he's off at 6.6. We see he's real loose in the legs around here. He's kind of bouncing those feet around, but he's still standing forward. He's fighting it. He's moving forward. He knows what he's wanting. He knows how to do it. He just gets a little out of time right here, and he misses one hole right there. Now he slid off the inside. He couldn't pick him back up. Mm. Tough break. Colton Jesse, the latest to leave the dirt wanting. Meanwhile, Ezekiel Mitchell, we all saw that great. Uh, but this one might be just a little bit more than he's used to trying to kind of strap to. And that's it. Hocus Pocus casts yet another spell. And with that buck off, Ramon De Lima is already your winner here in Little Rock. His first win of 2020. But as you remember all too well, JW, don't take your win that way. You want your own exclamation point. This is where you want to swing big and, and go for the walk off. And don't forget that there's go around points and money to be earned right here. Absolutely. Tons of money to be earned. Meanwhile, looking back at Alvidrez and Hocus Pocus, 44 and three quarters for Hocus Pocus, just one of those solid scores you'd expect. Just a little bit of overexcitement on Alvarez's part to move in there just a little bit deep on a great pool. Here it is, the final pairing. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.